kidding, you're kidding. I'm not. Let me play the video. No! Wait, 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 wait. He's oh my! Himself. That was five years ago. Let me just play the video. Oh no! On what no. channel is it on? Oh my god! Oh my god, no! No! No, my best! No! 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 He's leaving! No! No! No, 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 no! Oh my god, Mad Pat's leaving YouTube! Oh my god! No! 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 Oh my god! Oh my god! Fudge, let me get in the car. Oh my god! I, I, I'll try not no, to, but, but dude. You know, like, if you think about it, this channel is Steph and my first channel. Really, before we had Ollie, before we had Skip, yeah, bad, but it was this. This was our baby. This channel has been going for 13 years. I think in total, it's been somewhere around like, like 1,000. Oh my gosh, no. Uh, no. On March 9th, I will be hosting my last series episode. Bro! I'll be getting off the channel with someone else. Why is she getting off the channel? I'm feeling emotional. Oh, wow. First Technoblade, no freaking MadPat! You joking? At least my father's not dead, dude. No. My pot's quitting YouTube, Fridge. And it's not fake. It's real. You can go on the Game Theory channel. It's he literally made a video. Goodbye, internet. My reasons for making this announcement today is probably largely the same as Tom's reasons. Wait, I got him. Oh, it's the Valeria. Right, let's run. Come on, Fridge, let's go. Doesn't that mean that his hit, apparently his last theory video is on March 9th? Only half of those are from apps. It's shocking. I know, we actually discussed that post-map related. This has been a third of my life. That's why, for the last couple of years, we've been stepping up. That's why we partnered with a larger company to help run the channel. That's why we've been spending so much time outside of the world. Bro, he's crying! He's trading up his relationship with the best videos that they have. Bro, he was in the FNAF TV as well! Oh my god! Come on, Fridge. Oh my god. No. Wait, D-Boys. I'm reviving Fridge, bro. I'm watching my pet's video. Fridge, stop moving. Fridge, stop. Right. I'm building a box. Let me grab you. Come on. Fridge, stop moving. Let me revive you. Where I could just sit down on the couch with her and play video games 
end up with content. Or the plan B and end up thinking about what theory we're going to come up with. I miss it. So that's a big reason. That is a big one right there. With all the internet scenes and fiery lights, this came in the last three years. I miss it. 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 The other day, I actually had to Google my... I'm still watching my past video, Mo. You have to start, like, doing math. No! How old you are? You are over the hill, my friend. Don't be careful. To my credit, I think I'm, like, the only 37-year-old out there who has an unironic appreciation of kidney toilet. Then again, maybe that's the problem. Like, maybe that's not a good thing. And honestly, because it's all about us being honest, there is a bit of selfish side to this. When you think about it, there's only really two ways to step away from YouTube you either just decide the day that you stop uploading, and you're like, I'm done, or you just keep uploading videos from now to the heat death of the universe, and you watch as your relatives slowly die for your passion, slowly die. And for me, and my theory in this place, I always wanted to go out on a high note. And when you stop and look at the last year, it has been the best year in the theorist also, a lot of work. No joke. It is our high news year. Coming for a joke. We left dial theory and immediately put our foothold in a brand new space that took off, and now we're one of the top style and fashion channels on YouTube. And that kind of completes. Oh my god, Anad. Bro, Anad has to ruin the. Like. We're one of the worst times in YouTube history, man. Mad Pat quitting freaking YouTube, dude. No other YouTuber really has ever been able to do it to that extent. This is also a year where I was able to meet you guys at our Broadway show. I was able to play at the PGA and show that hey, YouTubers aren't particularly good at golf, but they can be your best relevant for like a couple of minutes. This is also the year. Oh my God, D boys. And it wasn't cringe. I mean, to be, to be fair, the Streamy Awards were a little bit cringe, but uh, it, was, it was the right amount of cringe. When I pull up videos of all my favorite creators and I watch them, and all of a sudden I start yeah, yeah. hearing people just casually dropping, that's just a theory. It's just a theory, a game theory. Now, this is oh my god. Dude, this. Dude, no, no, I wanna, I don't wanna get into another game. I wanna watch this video. Also, a lot of lore, so if you're a big theory head, proceed at your own risk. Oh, okay, bye, Fridge. And that's the note that I want to leave on. And that's how you just know it's the right time. All of those reasons coming together, saying, hey, this is the moment. And that's hard to say. Because change is scary. Change is hard. But sometimes the right decision isn't the easy decision. So the easy decision was to carry on doing this and do snap part 332. But that wouldn't be the right decision. I think the best way to explain it is with a video game analogy. Feels appropriate, right? Whoa, it's game theory, ha! Did it. Check the game part of it off. But the way I like to think about it is Earthbound. I think I've made it pretty clear over the years that that is, without question, my favorite game of all time. Sans Nest, all that, you're all familiar with that. But what you might not be familiar with at this point is how the game ends. At the end of Earthbound, after you save the world, everything opens up to you. You can revisit every single location that you've been to. You can talk to every NPC that you met on your journey. And it's this incredible moment as a gamer. You see just how many lives have been impacted thanks to your journey. And then after spending as much time as you want talking to all those people, you end up back home. You go back to where it all began, where you were just a kid waking up in bed and starting your adventure. And even though your mom's there and your dog's there and your weird telephone dad's there, it feels different somehow. Like, sure, this is still a place of love and acceptance and comfort and security, but you just don't quite fit anymore. Because you just traveled the world. You made all these new friends. You are different. You grew up. And your relationship to this place grows up. It evolves. In case you couldn't tell, I'm Ness. Which uh, I guess would also mean that I'm also Sam. <laughs> but I was also Ness in the FNAF movie, which just opens up all sorts of weird canon. Slap a thumbnail on that one. So anyway, there you have it. That is why I'm leaving.
I hope you can understand. But that obviously begs the question of like, what happens to the channel? Well, for the next uh, Dean, my Pat's quitting YouTube. What? Yeah, look at the. Bro, I'm watching his video right now. Uh, my pet's quitting. But if Una's honest taught us two things, he, he's making his last video theory soon. But two, he's quitting, man. Appreciate the time that you have it's just a sad moment, bro. Weeks, we're gonna have a Look on the Taco Boy server, and you can fun, see. Revisiting old favorites, uh, getting some closure on things. We're gonna see some familiar Look on the Discord server, and stuff. you'll see the fact that he's literally quitting YouTube. Soon. Look, look, look on our, look on the general channel, and the video link is there. Double check the numbers. So I have nine theories left on each. He's literally channels. quitting, man. Call them Matt Pat's final ten because that's just something better. He's and giving his channel to someone else. We're gonna have that big going away celebration. Matt Pat's final theory, and I just dust away. I stand astride my music man, and I just whip and nae nae off into the distance. It's like 26 that's minutes. This goodbye video. Do the channels go away with me? No, actually, I always thought that anyone. Can be a theorist, it's right? a sad moment, you isn't it? About a topic and yeah. you love to overthink it. Very, very sad. Then congratulations, like you're a theorist. And that could range know. from, hey, I have family recipes. I don't know. I have no idea. To, hey, I want to create the perfect fantasy sports team. Because here's the thing, sports pros, at the end of the day, if you are in the statistics and numbers and doing calculations to see if your team won or lost, you're just playing a glorified Dungeons and Dragons game. So you break to, you're one of us, my friend. And <laughs> sure, game theory is a format that I created. It's a show with this very excitable host who makes a lot of cringy dad jokes and says the word lore a lot, but at the end of the day, it's more than just the host. It is a show. It is a format, and in a broader sense, it is a state of mind. It's a way of thinking and approaching the world around you. It's I can't believe he's quitting, bro. When you think about it, not a lot of YouTube channels Am I right? that way. We're special in that regard. Oh like, you're not going to be able to get another Markiplier no. stepping into the Markiplier channel. And you're never going to be able to recreate Ten of Marbles. And, and to be honest, you're never going to get another MatPat either. But you can have another game theorist. You can have another film theorist or food theorist or style theorist. I think in a lot of ways, we almost function kind of like the Doctor Who of YouTube, where as one host fades away, a new one kind of respawns in their place. And let me spread the news. Spin and flavor on the format and make it their unique thing. You have arrows of the different theorist channels. And so, you know, my arrow is fading away and someone new is coming in. Maybe this is the David Tennant to Matt Smith transition, right? Good, solid series episodes right there. So who then is going to be taking over the channel? Well, I don't he did, bro. Notice this, but fewer and fewer of the words that I'm saying in any given episode are actually mine. If you go down to the credits, you can actually he did in the description that there are certain names that I'm appearing more and more frequently. Like, yeah, I'm listed on every single one as the writer because I touch every single script, I polish it with my voice. But in all honesty, the bulk of what I'm saying is coming from someone else. It's their research. It's their work. Why should they have to filter their creativity through my voice? I've always envisioned these channels as a place where we could spotlight all sorts of creators. I, I mean, it even goes back to the original URL of this channel, right? It isn't game theory. It was always the game theory. So this was a place where you could find a lot of like-minded creators, all with a passion for gaming and education. That's why we had the partner shows like Gaijin Goomba with Culture Shock, or Drake with Smash History, or Ryder with A Brief History, or Austin with The Science, and Lee with Breakdown. It just we ruined your day, huh? Because we all had a similar goal. This news. Educate people through the lens of gaming. And then YouTube pivoted, and then made it so that way doing a channel in that style doesn't really work anymore. But we still try to keep that. It's really sad, bro. Sure that we're don't worry, don't worry, it's fine. Stuff like only Dude, it, it, we still have Markiplier. I mean, we still have Markiplier. We still have Jacksepticeye. Honestly. Why aren't we doing it for the creators on our own staff? Yeah, that's the thing, man. We're all gonna miss him. Oh my God, I got an ad. I don't care about a burger. I don't care about a burger ad. Okay, well, I care about Mad Pat right now. So blessed to have this platform available to me that you've given me. I have no idea. He wants to spend like more time. From what I've understood from this video, he wants to like spend more time off camera. He wants to spend more time with his family, and he just wants to play video games and stuff. He just and regular just doesn't want to do YouTube anymore. He's gonna give it to someone else. I could not sleep for the last 13 years of my life, but I feel like 
as old man YouTube passing this along to the next generation, I should probably do my best to try and make it more sustainable for them. It's also going to people that you're already familiar with. You've seen them showing up in shorts. You've seen them here on the couch with me for TT Live. You've sometimes seen them washing their hair with me in my own shower. Don't read too much into that, but it is accurate. Most importantly, though, they're each an expert in their own individual subject matter, and they've been spearheading the creative of the channel for the better part of the last year. Deep Boys kind of told me that much back with YouTube. About all of this is that each of the four you broke down the news to me. From a completely different angle. You know, so for instance, you have Lee, right? Lee's going to be taking over film theory, and Lee has been with us for 10 years. 10 years. It's crazy. I believe... He was actually editor number three for the channel. We had Ronnie, and then we had Ryder, Foot of Affairs, uh, and then we had Lee. I think his first theory that he ever worked on was Rosalina's I don't know. Daughter, uh, Peach is Dead. One of my all-time <laughs> favorite Why? ever. I don't know what Maxie's going to say, honestly. What will Maxie say? Should I tell him? Should I tell him that Mad Pat's quit? documentaries that were edited in such an incredible way. And okay. since then, he's been spearheading a lot of the creative on both the writing and the visual side. And then, of course, he's probably going to see the video anyways. Theory. And Amy is actually a It's most likely going to blow up in the next 24 hours. First approached us, I think it was six years ago. She didn't know about the channel. All she knew was that she wanted to learn everything that she could about digital video, and that Theorist was kind of the place that you went to to learn that stuff. Like, we were the best when it comes to analytics and optimization and programming and things like that. She got in, and she just devoured everything that we threw at her. So much so that she eventually got to the point where she was so good that she was consulting the largest... Dude, his first video was 14 years ago. ...stuff that we were working on here. Oh, my God. Incredible. And all of that while being responsible for packaging somewhere around, like, 500 episodes. Honestly, man, after all he did. He was even in the FNAF movie, dude. He got so popular. He's quitting now. It's a sad day for all of us, dude. Not just you. And interestingly enough, they both grew up watching Game Theory. We were their childhood show, which... To be fair, it just shows how old Game theory. Dante would eventually go work Five Nights at Freddy's Scariest Monsters, you. He is bravely spearheading food theory and letting me mercilessly make fun of all his recipes. Uh, he's much better than I give him credit this, for. This guy, honestly, will... Then, uh, bro, he will honestly... This guy will literally live on for all of YouTube history. Right, like this as long as YouTube is still on the platform, Mappa will live on forever. He emailed us a cold email. Honestly. He just miraculously saw it yeah. to audition him. And he crushed it. His first episode know, that he worked on was actually watching every single installment of Pokemon know. anime to calculate Pikachu's level. And to be fair, got so famous. Like, I he was even in a movie. Oh my god. Past, but not even I'm that brutal. Like, you can only watch Team Rocket blast off so many times. But he's like, this is an episode I'm passionate about. I think I'm going to knock it out of the ballpark. And I'm going to show you how committed I am. He has been so committed ever since. So sure. Him, told him, hey, if you're yeah. The channel, you do realize that you want to play France. Okay, like, let's play France, bro. And we're up here going crazy as a snap addict. But not only did he read every snap novel, he also read every single Hello Neighbor book. Yeah. He went that far. Currently, he's working his way through Bendy because the new movie's coming out. If nothing else, I think that really proves his level of commitment and also his appropriate level of insanity. <laughs> He's been off the cuff at times. Like, I don't know if you saw on a recent GT Live, but uh, Tom was here on the couch with me. and he uh, I just want to watch his video. That the moon existed? Which is... I want to watch the whole video, top to bottom. Just wait, dude. Oh my God. Just ready up. But if he does... We're gonna get some uh, weird Majora's Mask theories. Let me tell you, when I go out at this point, I am recognized at least five times. It's crazy. It's, it's really high enough. Oh, why did he have to quit? Honestly, like, dude. Oh my gosh, you're Matt Pat. You were my childhood. I loved watching your FNAF theories. And, and I'm always like, oh, you know, FNAF's still going. And they're like, what? No way. And we talk about the new game, and it's always really fun. But the other half is, oh my gosh, you're Matt Pat. You are my childhood. I'm watching you right now. I love your most recent theory. That's awesome. That's such an honor. I've been so honored to be a part of all of your lives. But I think it's time for someone else to have that honor. I think it's time for someone else to get to ruin some childhood. And that just kind of leaves us with one final question, right? Which is, what about me? You know, where do I go? Do I just retire to a beach somewhere? Do I whip a nene off into the distance? No. I'll still be here. Uh, obviously, first off, we've got our final 10 episodes, like I said, so that's 
well, it wasn't ten episodes. It, however many episodes are left between now and March 9th, we got those. Uh, I'm going to be on GT Live from now until the foreseeable future, probably until the end of the summer. That feels about right. And then we have the big going away video on March 9th. After that, I, you know, stand aside and Santi, Lee, Amy, and Tom step up and take over the hosting role. But I'm still going to be here. I'm still going to be alongside the creative directors talking about programming, brainstorming ideas for upcoming episodes. That's awesome. I love that. I don't want to give that up. But the other cool thing about this is that it opens up the door for me to turn the script. For the last 13 years, I've been commenting on other people's IP. But now that I'm stepping out of those roles, I get to create the IP. Still as a part of theorists, but I get to create things that are going to challenge those new hosts of the channel. Things that I've had in the back of my mind from years of studying media that I can now make a reality and the channels can comment on them. Things like, for instance, I have a lo-fi mystery series that I think you're really gonna dig. It's basically like if you took a lo-fi channel and applied an ARG narrative to it, it becomes lore-fi. I am so stoked about this. The music is sounding really good. The animations are coming together really well. That's gonna be launching in a couple weeks. We'll see if Lee over on film- Bro, Mad Pat's final video is gonna be the most emotional thing in the world. Honestly. Giant fashion show that we're doing there. We all collectively had this thought of like, hey- Everybody's gonna start crying. Influencers are coming up with their own apparel line. Why is there no place to- Probably even me. That sort of stuff. And then it hit us like, hey, we have a style and fashion channel. Why aren't we doing it ourselves? Creators in Fashion by Style Theory that is coming to you in April, hosted by me. Some of the time that I'm not hosting the channel, I'm going to be okay. practicing my runway walk. Because let me tell you, if I'm sashaying down the runway, if I'm stomping the runway, it's not going to be pretty right now. So I need to practice that a little bit. There's also this animation show that we did a pilot for in like the middle of last year. It's basically like if you took Gravity Falls, but aged it up and made it about adulting. It's really, really solid. And also, there's this video game idea that I want to do for, like, so long that I've never had the opportunity to really, like, dive into and, and make reality. But now it's my chance to step into the role of Scott Cawthon and challenge the new game theorist. There's always been the memes about, are Scott Cawthon and I the same person? Not yet, but who knows? Maybe starting later this year. And those are just the immediate things that I have on my to-do list because... 2024 is going to be a hard year without my pal, honestly. Even if it's not a weekly episode... Super sad. Very sad. You like them. You matter to me. You are so important to me. Every single one of those people who stop me on the street. Nah. Right. What? Well, your game crashed. It's interesting. No, no, no. Because of this, whole this is quite an intense map, so I'm surprised you didn't. Your game didn't crash. Bro, no, honestly. Evolution that we've gone to together. In the beginning, right? I was kind of like the edgy older brother where I would talk about like, oh, did you know that Link is dead? Uh, and let's make it's a coincidence. And then at a certain point, I it's not like the same person. Right, I, I became a little bit more mature. Dude, oh my god, I just thought of this. Now that Mad Pat quit YouTube, who's next? Markiplier. Imagine Markiplier quits, bro. Or even worse, PewDiePie. I think I'm kind of evolving into... What is Mr. Beast gonna say about this? You know, for lack of a better term. Oh my god. And just like you're gonna both your grandparents, hopefully like cool grandparents, Welcome to the hub. but uh, just like okay. your grandparents, you're training. you don't get... What is this, bro? All the time. Use this portal. And I don't get to... Let me just turn the video up. And maybe we call and talk to each other every once in a while. But... Yes, my game crashed. But at the oh, end of the day... okay. That grandpa... Loading preview. Maybe he shows up at a special During event, maybe he shows up at a holiday, uh, maybe he shows up at the, the Theory Wear fashion show. <laughs> Who Let's knows? see what you can do with a gun. But he so looks forward to seeing you. And the love that he has for you, it doesn't go. Why is it in slot mo That grandpa is so proud of you. And he cherishes the relationship that you've had so much. He is so honored to be a part of your life. Great. Remember, you get more bullet time during the jump sequence. But first, find the telephone to travel back to the hub. And helping you experience the world. I'm just gonna watch the video. And he looks forward to seeing you at the next event. And if you see him on the street, we'll hang out. And hopefully, he brings you cool, fun gifts. I know this is gonna sound cheesy. And I know the internet will probably break me over the coals. Crying for one, but I love you guys. I do. You're not just numbers. You're not just ad impressions. You're not just merch sales. 
enter the portal again to start the jump sequence. What you have done for me, and for everyone I talked to, what I've done for you, is special. It's special. Do you see the other side? You will have to reach the other side goal, to receive more bullet time. I had this goal of making the world a better place because I had been part of it. It didn't have to be big. It didn't have to be curing cancer. But I wanted there to have been a ripple impact. You are Just ready to fight the guards. To Let's bring in the guns. Pick your we favorites. I think we've been able to achieve something great here. You have taken me on the wildest, craziest, 13-year ride of my life. I am so grateful. Remember, so, oh my God. Can shut down the sign out now, and I'll be around for a couple more weeks. I'll be living around the house for a while. We'll have a big uh, family reunion celebration. Then I'll go off to my little shack in the woods, my retirement home down in Florida, and I'll, I'll pop it every once in a while. Anyway, uh, at this point in my notes, I had it written that we're going to start the countdown clock of that like final 10 episodes, final 9 episodes, so start that. I don't know what it's going to look like yet. Uh -huh. Hopefully the editors don't rip off when it's on us too much. If they do, I hope they change it. Uh -huh. And with that, and with that, I'm going to say, for one of the final times, not the final time, but one of the final times, as always, my friends, remember, it's just a theory. A game a theory. theory. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. <sighs> That's just a theory. A game theory.